In the process of mounting my conductor in the front of the Senior 20 organ, I knew that I did not like the mechanical mechanism that was shown in the plans, and I wanted to come up with a better way of actuating the arms and the head for a more realistic movement. I spent quite a bit of time experimenting with different ways of connecting to the conductor, and initially thought that I wanted to use pneumatic mechanisms to provide the movement. The next six videos in this series will show some of the things that I played around with. You pretty much have to shoot a video of something when you're making it. You don't know if you're going to use it or not. The next six videos will show different things that I came up with. Air cylinders, pneumatic motors, a wood pneumatic valve that worked real well, pneumatic puffs and a double rise pneumatic motor, and it wasn't until after I had experimented with these items that I decided that there wasn't enough pressure in this organ to provide the necessary movement. And it was either too slow or too erratic. And I decided to go a different route for the movement. People may find that what's covered in the next six videos would be of use to them for some other project. And then after this series, I get into the platform and linear rail and the final mechanism that's used to install the conductor. I hope you find what's in these next six videos informative. Thank you for watching.